Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which you're going to learn how to install sodium and boost your FPS in Minecraft 1.19.1. The first thing we need to do to get sodium installed is open up our Minecraft launcher and make sure to launch 1.19.1 at least once. So just select 1.19.1 from this list right here and click play. So once you've made it to the main menu, you can just click quit game. Now find the link down below in the description to sodium, which will be somewhere at the top of the description. You will land on this page where all you got to do is scroll down a little until you see here, you'll find the instructions here. So I'm going to open this in a new tab so we can install fabric because we're going to install fabric for this one. Go over to fabric mod loader, this link right here. This will take you to fabricmc.net and then you click download here. You click download for Windows or if you're on any other operating system, you click download Universal Jar. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click this one. This will download a very convenient EXE file. You just click it. So the installer is usually set to the right settings, but if you're watching this in the future and you want to switch back to 1.19.1, just click Minecraft version right here. Make sure to select create profile and just click install. This will usually just take a few seconds, then you can click OK and close this installer. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel because most of you guys watching these tutorials do like them, do comment that they work, but do not subscribe to my channel. All we got to do now is get ourselves sodium, so scroll back. Over here, click download sodium. This will take you straight to the download section on this page. And then you click the sodium for 1.19.1 button right here. This will take you to Curse Forge and all you gotta do is click the download button right here. Just wait five seconds and then your download will automatically begin. Right there, there we go. I'm gonna drag this over to the desktop because we'll need to access it in a little bit. Because what you wanna do now is get to your .minecraft folder. There's multiple ways to do this once again but I'm gonna click Windows R just like that to open up the run window on Windows and type in percent app data percent and you can also enter that in the search bar right here. Then just click OK. This will take you to these folders where you select the .minecraft folder. If you've never installed a mod before, create a new folder called mods all lowercase, then open it, drag in sodium, and that's it. That's how you install sodium for Minecraft 1.19.1. I'm not gonna show you the other methods, but I just wanna mention there are other ways of getting sodium into Minecraft very easily. You can also use this method on how to install iris shaders. And if you use the installer from this page right here from this link, it will also have sodium within the same installer. So you're gonna be installing iris shaders and sodium together. And then as long as you don't use shaders, you're pretty much just gonna be using sodium all the time. For now, we can just close this window, open up the Minecraft launcher, make sure to select the newly created fabric loader 1.19.1 right there and click play. If you've never played fabric 1.19.1, it will show you a pop-up where you just have to click I understand and then click play. So here we are in Minecraft 1.19.1, it says slash fabric mod and if we go over to options, video settings, as you can see these settings look totally different from what they usually look in vanilla Minecraft and that's because these are specific sodium settings that you can adjust to make your game run even better. But just by having Sodium installed, you should already be getting more FPS in Minecraft and fix lag in Minecraft as well. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you actually did, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as letting me know down below in the comments whether Sodium was able to improve your FPS because by just having Sodium installed, you usually will be able to get a huge FPS boost and get Minecraft from unplayable FPS to very playable FPS. And then last but not least, please consider subscribing to the channel, like I said, and hitting the bell right next to it. And then without any further ado. I will, of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya.